Talking to George Hithart Hilliard. Good to speak to you again, George. Likewise. Fresh from your BKB win on your debut. Um, how's it been since then? Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Just, just I've gone back under the radar. Just training, spend some time with the family, just enjoying, just enjoying life, cracking on with work. Same old. Same old. And we got a chance to see you again in March. Yeah, March the 26th, back at the O2. Yeah, which so, is um, which is good. Yeah. You're going to be fighting Jack McLean, and Jack, I, know, yeah. I notice on social you've you've already you've already had a, a pre-fight fight. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not not my no. not, not from me, but it's yeah, not yeah. normally your style. I don't no, think. No, it's not. It? I'm not one for shouting my mouth off or or, or or anything like that. So just it is what it is. Yeah, he, he's put some stuff on the social media. So, but it, it helps us build the fight. It helps us. Uh, yeah. So I just hope he can talk that much. On fight night. On fight night. Tell us about you though, your camp. What is it now? How do you go about your camp? Is it full on? Yeah, it's, 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 we've got seven weeks now, so it's, it's yeah. pretty full on. Yeah, it's just um, I've still got what another six pounds to lose, so we're, we're going back down tomorrow. We're 74, 74 kilograms. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's just picking it up, keeping the the that's sharpness not, there. Over seven weeks, that's not a lot to oh, lose. It's not, no, it's not. It's yeah, not to so. be fair. So just a little bit about you. I mean. One thing I noticed about you, you're sort of an orthodox, but you're a switch fighter as well. You'll change the southpaw when you need. Yeah, I can, I can switch. On. Listen, I, I can do whatever it takes to win. So if I have to switch and, and, and take him off the ball game for a little bit, then I, I, I'll do what I have to do. So it's all about winning. In that first fight, what did you, cause what did you notice different? <coughs> I mean, you, you've got such a great pedigree in glove boxing. What did you notice different? Because a lot of things are the same, but it's very different. I said to, to some other people in, in, in an interview, there's, even though it may sound silly, that when, I got, when the bell went and I put my hands up, I thought, I ain't got no gloves on. It, it felt a bit, so yeah. it took me about 30 seconds to, to realise, adjust. Yeah. to adjust, saying, like, when they throw a shot, you have to be tight. You can't just do a little parry, because normally you've got a glove on. But, um, yeah, it was just it, adjust, adjusting to the... Uh, to the um, having no gloves on, but once I, I did that, then it was, it was. And for many, second box, second fight's always better for them anyway, because they yeah. know what to expect and yeah. everything else. Yeah. What do you expect from from Jack? Um, as I've, I've seen a couple of videos, he's, he's a bit orthodox, bit um, not in a disrespectful way, a bit all, all over the place. Yeah. But um, so and they're the worst kind of people to fight. Yeah. But um, listen, well, I just stick to my game plan and. Um, are you that discipline? Because a lot of fighters, we've talked to some of them today, that come with a game plan, the bell goes and the plan's out the window. No, but do you I'm, stick to the plan? No, I stick to the plan, yeah, stick to the plan. It's, I'm, I've been in this game a long time now. Um, if you said that to me 20 years ago, then I would have said, Maybe. no, as soon as I get punched in the face, let's, 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 let's have it. It becomes a war. But yeah, but as, I get, as you get older, you get a little bit wiser, and you realise it ain't about taking punches that wins your fights, it's about hitting and not getting hit. You had, and, and I found interesting was, you had a reputation as being lazy. All the talent, but yeah. not. You can't in, be that in BKB, can you? No, no. You, the, as I was saying to others, that you, in, people think, oh, it's just boxing without gloves. It's not. It's not, no. It, it's not. It's, um, you have to be really, you have to be switched on for this. Like, yeah. it's, you just have to be really switched on. And, um, it's nothing, it's nothing like boxing. I suppose in glove boxing, if you switch off for a second and you get punched, you can shake your head and get on with it. Yeah, it's, Here, you're out. No, it's yeah, it's, um, or not just that. If you don't get knocked out, you're getting cut. Yeah, which, is, that, yeah, which can stop the fight. As anyway. we see on the last show, yeah. most people are winning the fight and then they get sh yeah. caught with a jab and it's, a cut opens and the fight stops. So, I mean, you've got a, a wonderful record, title wins. You, I mean, as a glove pro, great record. I suppose really, in terms of the technical side of it, that's <coughs> great. That's helped you. I still underachieved. Really? Yeah. But like I never. I should have been British champion, European champion, Commonwealth champion. But so why that, weren't you? So even though I won the British Masters, the WBU. I was going to say you won the WBU, the, the British WB, Masters, WBC Confederation World the Title, the IBA World Title in yeah. the USA, international WBU, yeah. Glove Amateur 39 and 10, Glove Pro 23 and 7. But, um, so, I mean, as, as most people know, I. The British Boxing Board of Control, because I had a personal problem with one of the, yeah. the members, wouldn't give me my licence back. You so went to I, Ireland, didn't you? The so Irish went, boys. I board. went to the British and Boxing Ireland yeah. Association, called Bieber, yeah. which are fantastic. 
and um, and we still we we'll still be working with them. Then I went to America, but all the times I was doing that, I was still getting. If I was fighting a certain people from a, i.e. Yeah. America or from Europe, it was getting stopped because of certain people. Yeah, yeah. Um, we talked before, and I think it was you mentioned it. You know about age, just the number. It doesn't matter to you, does it? I've not I've not been in many wars. No, I'm you can age, see, yeah. So, and um, I'm not one for. Look, I can do it, but wh why would you want to do it if you haven't got to do it? So I can sit there and trade and punches with you all day long. But I'd rather get hit, uh, be hitting someone, than getting hit. So, and you don't, you don't, I don't get paid extra to be taking punches. No. And I want to sit there and see my kids grow up. So, you brought me nicely onto that because one of the things I, I got it, <coughs> you're a massive family man, aren't you? Yeah. Massive family yes. man. Um, so, part of me thinks you're a family, you love spending time with them and, and watching your beloved West Ham United. I was there yesterday, yeah. by the way. Yeah, that is that compared to Upton Park, I think it's a bit soulless, if you don't mind me saying. But we'll, very, we'll talk about very, that yeah, privately very. another time. But um, you know, you, you're such a, per, a family person. Why do you want to keep doing this? Is it in your blood? Can you help yourself? Right. So the reason I was, I was as I said, I was prepared to walk away from this, but it's giving that dad speech to my son, saying about you never give up. You in never life. walk away. And then you, if you. I just never give up in life. If you want something, go out and get it. And then my son said to me, then why did you give up? And I was like, what do you mean? He went, well, you reckon you haven't had a stroke? You, haven't, you had these problems? You, you reckon you haven't had them? So why are you giving up? So then I thought, you know what? I've got to do my medicals again. And, and thank God, everything, my son put me back on that path. Which That's I, and amazing. I, I am. I know this, some people say it's BKB, but I am in, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Because I know you're football mad, but it, who was it? Who was it? Was it Roy McDonald found you, put you on the path to the boxing? Do you remember Zamo out of Grange Hill? Yeah, yeah. yeah his dad's Roy McDonald. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. That was the one, Grange Hill. Yeah. Oh, so, I know the one. Yeah. yeah so, so he's uh, the man who put you on the path to boxing. Yeah, we was down Dobbsweir Caravan Park, and um, just it's not far from where I live now. And um, I, I don't know, God's the truth, I can't tell you what I did. But I was 10 years of age. He'd done something, and I'd done something back. So he. Um, he went, oh, you boxed him? And I was like, what's that? Didn't, didn't, didn't like, yeah. So he went, I want to see your dad. So as we're walking to my, my, my parents, <laughs> my dad, I won't say what my dad said, but my dad went, what's he done now? Uh, thinking that I've done something wrong. Yeah. As most 10 year olds, a bit of a tear away. So he went, no, he went, he just done a move on me. He went, that only boxers do. And my dad went, he, he ain't no boxer, he's obsessed with a football. So uh, I was football mad. Yes, yeah, so a cut a long story short. I quit football to be... Here you are now. Yeah. Um, you've had a great career <coughs> and you're still fighting. And I think it's, it's important because you've been there in America for... And didn't you, were you in, was it one of the quickest knockouts? I was the fastest knockout in a pro debut. Live on Sky Sports, yeah. Yeah, it was, was it within six seconds? I was six seconds off of breaking Mike Tyson's record. Wow. For the fast, yeah, was, I, I done it in 42 and Mike Tyson did it in 36. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah well, so. Great company to be named. Yeah, yeah, like so, yeah totally, totally. <laughs> Just wish the rest of my career went the, the <laughs> But you've had that, all that sort of career. So you, you, you don't spout off. But I get the impression you're ambitious. Yeah, so totally. So if you're going to be in BKB, you want to win things. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to make numbers up. Yeah. Um, um, if it was about the money, then I wouldn't be boxing. I wouldn't. Uh, it's the, so, uh, I'm not saying I'm comfortable, uh, I'm, I'm filthy rich, but we're, we're comfortable. We're, yeah. we're, you know what I mean? So, but uh, it's about achieving goals that I want to achieve, and I, what my said. My, Personal my, ambition we're yeah, talking Yeah, what here. my son said, why are you giving up? So, I don't want to be in, in 20 you're years. You're teaching your son a lesson, aren't you? Yeah, in a way, yeah. yeah. So, I don't want to be that man in a park bench in 50 years' time I, saying, I could have I been. Yeah, I and wish then, I'd have done And then yeah. made my kids suffer because I didn't go where I wanted to go. 100%. So if I can just put the nail in the coffin and... Um, I can relate to that. Yeah, so... Win a title, give yeah. your lad the belt and it's say... Not, it's, not, yeah. it's not even about winning a title. It's, do, do you know what? It might be the next fight. Do you know you go, I've had a dr great training camp. I, I, I don't want it no more. I've, I'm satisfied now. Yeah. But do you know what I mean? It's just so that about, can happen? That can happen. But it's about putting that... It's about me not being forced to do something. So me going, do you know what? And I ain't silly. 
I'm not prepared to just keep, I'm not fighting here for the sake of fighting or fighting for money. I'm doing it because it's a passion. Yeah. So once that, once that, that fire goes out. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm ready to walk away. But you're not at the moment? No, not yet. <laughs> Listen, we can't wait, it's going to be a good fight. <coughs> Jack brings a unique sort of style yeah. to the ring. We've yeah, talked about that. It's going to be a great fight, but listen, mate, good luck on the night, pal. Thank you very much. Good luck on the night.